Hello Year 8 and welcome to this uh, Takeaway Teacher video where I'm going to talk you through the midterm assessment for the Year 8 Shared Text Unit. In this unit we will be learning to, uh, or in this assessment we'll be learning to comment on how the language used in a text helps to establish the writer's viewpoint and purpose and shapes the reader's response. Now, what does that actually mean? If you look at that in terms of our, our reading skills, we talk about four different skills you need for reading. Uh, and you'll notice that this skill is here. It's reading skill three, understanding and commenting on how the language helps us to respond to the text. Put more simply, you could, you could understand it like this. We're learning to understand how writers can use words powerfully. We're looking at the, the precise words and phrases that they use um, and, and being able to learn to explain how that influences our response as a reader. Now the, ta the task you're going to do um, is looking at an extract from Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte um, and answering this question, how does Charlotte Bronte use language to create sympathy for Jane in this extract? Um, in a bit more detail, if we keep that as our question, you're going to read an extract from Jane Eyre which describes her life at Lowood School. She's been sent away to this rather horrible school um, where they're not treated very well and you'll read an extract about that. You'll then need to, in your assessment, underline examples of powerful language use. So you'll need to look at it, try and work out where the powerful language is, which phrases and words stand out for you. Um, and then you'll need to explain why. Now we do this through annotation, where you'll draw a line under the word, uh, the word as you've done, and then to the side of the page, you'll write down an explanation of why you've chosen that and how the language creates sympathy. Now, it's really important that we understand, um, when we're doing a task like this, how we know if we're doing it well. So, as usual in English, we've split up the success criteria into skilled and excellent. Skilled work, if you do this, if you show that you can do this task, if you show that you've got the, the ability to work at a skilled level, then you'll do these things. You'll firstly identify at least three words or phrases which create sympathy. It doesn't really matter if you don't understand the whole text, that's not what we're focusing on today. Um, in, in this assessment, but you'll find some words and phrases that create sympathy and you'll try, you'll make an attempt to explain the effects of these words and phrases. Once you've got skilled up, we'll then ask you and push you forward to explore excellence. So what might excellent, an excellent response look, uh, look like here? Well, really, it's best described as commenting on the effect of words and phrases in increasing detail and with increasing, increasing precision. Try to explain exactly how they create sympathy. What is it about the words and phrases that you've chosen um, which make us feel more sympathetic or respond more powerfully to, to the language? Other indicators of, of excellence are using appropriate terminology. So you might be able to explain um, that, that Bronte uses particular verbs or adjectives. You might know the language to describe um, the way you might use language. You might talk about imagery or metaphor, simile, um, alliteration, whatever you think is present in the text. You might also move on to not just look at words, but you might look at the impact of sentence structures as well as if you're exploring excellence, if you're working um, in that, that area. Um, so you might be looking for short sentences, long sentences, uh, and talking about the effects of them. In the next video, I will just quickly show you a model of how you might do that. I'll show you a model of how you might do the task uh, in order to hit these success criteria. Um, and then, really, it'll be over to you to have a go at it. Uh, obviously, when you've done it, you'll get feedback um, from your classmates, you'll get feedback from, uh, from your teacher, and then give, it'll give you some targets um, to improve your skills in this area, improve your ability to to comment on a writer's use of language, and then you can use those for your uh, essay, which ends the shared text unit. It'll be an essay where you write about the novel that either you've been sharing with the whole group in class, or that you've been sharing uh, with, in small groups um, in your English lessons.